Just going to do a little video talking about customizing some of these gel blasters because some of you guys asked for more of these. And some of you, um, somebody recently asked about removing the blowback feature on a blaster, and I tried to explain it, but it's really easy to show. So I'm going to go ahead and do that during this video as well. So what we got here are uh, three different Glock 17 models in uh, different stages of customization. Like these ones are just are primed, basically. This one's nothing has been done to yet, um, and this piece was recently printed. It hasn't been primed, so we got some 3D printed parts up here. So this blaster can be found on Amazon still under Shermery or Aaron Club. So, um, you know, both of those are good sellers who I recommend. So you can find the G17 through each of them. And I like the G17 for customizing for a couple of reasons. It's the most similar spec wise, size wise to airsoft guns. And most of these uh, 3D kits I print are made for airsoft specific um, Glock versions. So these tend to work out best. Still, nothing works like it's intended. Nothing is pretty much plug and play um, unless you're lucky enough to find a STL file for a specific gel blaster you have. Um, and I haven't found too many of those when it comes to top loaders. So uh, the nice thing about it, too, is it's a very straight gun. Like the top, you can see the slide is very straight. There's no... Um, there's nothing up here for what am I looking for? The word, the your little site. There's no little site up here that you have to worry about filing off. Battery goes in the bottom, which is nice because instead of being up here, it makes it a little easier for some of these different mods. But still, even with that, even with doing some measurements and trying to adjust some things, it's always uh, it's always kind of a guessing game until you print it out and you start actually until you have it in your hands. So what we're going to do here with this one is this piece, of course, was originally intended to slide onto the bottom of a blaster and go directly onto the rail. Those never seem to line up. So instead, this is a separate piece of rail. It's in here pretty tight, but that's basically made so that it can fit flush mount on top. So I'm gonna have that actually go in and mount on the top of this blaster, like it was in there. So. So it's just gonna go right up against that and it's gonna mount there. And then of course you could have accessories on top. So I still end up thinking that looks pretty cool. Threaded barrel here, I will disable blowback on these. This one, you know, cause what would happen here is this would hit, right? So you're gonna just go ahead and disable that anyway. And then you have a threaded barrel here so that you can switch to different types of, you know, different types of barrels on the front end, which I think is pretty cool. People like that feature. So that's how that one works. This one too is primed and empty. So this one I was able to get to fit um, somewhat right here on the bottom. So that's gonna fit across on the bottom, kind of flush like that. I'll try to fill this in as nicely as I can to make that look really good. Again, threaded barrel. This one I did put my little logo on, but I'm gonna have it painted to match. So it's not gonna stick out really a ton. But I think that'll end up looking good too. And I do a lot of these like where I just print things that I think will look cool. Because once you have a printer, the filament is pretty cheap. And the cost of printing is pretty cheap. So I print a lot of stuff just, and then when it turns out, or when it comes out, I figure out what I'm going to do with it. That's kind of what I thought here as well. So you can see this. The other thing you have to end up doing a lot is widening the barrels because the barrels are made for airsoft, which is technically thinner than most gel balls on some of these. So I'll have to thin that out. But so here is a blaster that still has the internals inside it. So we're talking about removing the blowback feature, which on a lot of these I need to, is there's typically, there's a spring. That one came out already. There's a spring right up here that connects. So you just take that piece off, right? And then there's this piece in the back, okay? And you just take that out. So that'll make the, the blowback won't work anymore. The thing is, this will still kind of move. So what you'll want to do is really the easiest thing to do is to put some little screws through the slide into this black piece here, because this is nice and long. And if you're hitting it right up here, you're not going to have any issues with the barrel hitting it. 
So here's that other spring that was in the front. It's just kind of stuck in there, yeah. So this spring will be like this. So that's where the springs are on the G17. On the G18, there's just one spring in plastic, long plastic piece with a square on the back. So very easy to remove that. It's just you need to then, like I said, put like a, a screw through here, a small screw, because otherwise it still is going to want to move. Anyway, this piece is going to end up going like this. So that'll be my plan for this one. All right, so that I took a step bit and really had to make that much wider, of course, make that circle much bigger so that this piece can sit in there. It still can't go um, all the way flush because the way this other piece is designed, but that doesn't necessarily need to. It'll still, it'll still look cool, still be nice and secure. So that's my plan with this. All right, so those are just some quick kind of rundown to some ways I customize the G17s. Again, these uh, models are still available via uh, Aaron Club or Aaron Shop and from Shermery on Amazon. And they st should still come out to about 150 FPS. So that's another big reason that I like to use these for customizing. So let me know what you guys think. Comments, questions, please post them below. And of course, please like and subscribe. And eventually I'll be posting some videos where these are all completed and pretty. And I'll probably be giving them away too. So thanks and uh, make sure you participate in all those giveaways.